नमस्ते गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम दिव्या अग्रवाल एंड आई मेक वीडियोस बुक रिलेटेड सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर एज मच एज यू कैन एंड आल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द बेल बटन सो यू गेट नोटिफाइड एवरी टाइम एंड अपलोड अ न्यू वीडियो सो एज अ टाइटल सेज दिस वीडियो इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी अ बुक रिव्यू ऑफ सीरीज बाय मैडलिन मिलर I didn't. Um, I don't know how. I was not. I did. I just don't know how to feel about this book. I also didn't know if I should do a book video review for this book or not, as this book is like international bestseller. Every book is that, but yeah, this book is also an international bestseller, and it also like one of the best books of twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. I think it's of twenty eighteen, so it's the best book of twenty eighteen also, and I think it also got Women Book Prize. Uh, if I remember correctly, so yeah, this book has got so 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 many praises that I wanted to read this book, and I finally finally got to read this book. Um, yeah, after so many so many days. So the book is about Ceres, who is the daughter of Helios. um and he is the god of sun and the mightiest of titans and uh, her mother is uh, perspin i guess i forgot her name and uh, she is a nymph and she got born and uh, actually her name in is a hawk and she got golden eyes and she was nothing like her other siblings who were like all mighty beautiful who can sing beautifully who have other charms and everyone thought that she sounds like mortal so yeah she was not very godly like among gods even though she lives among god and she was neglected every time she does everything what everyone thought that cirus was not a god she was just a born god but not exactly god cause she didn't had any powers but they didn't know that she actually can do witchcraft she was a sorceress and actually she didn't know that either after some incident that happened and then the things started to reveal that actually she is a sorceress and all uh, her other siblings are just like her and they knew that but she didn't cause everything one thought that she is just a stupid and that just so the whole book is about this thing only that how sirus got to know about her own identity and how she like uh, grew through this through all of this through her incompatibility how she was looked down upon by just everyone how attracted she was towards mortals even though her family her family was totally against mortals like of course they were gods they bestow them and everything but interaction between a god and a mortal was looked upon very much so yeah she was much inclined to modern uh, mortals now when i say that i don't know how to express my feelings for this book is because this book first thing first is that this book has a really 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 slow pace it's like this book goes through snail pace literally snail pace and even slower slower than that i can say so um if you know also know that i am a slow pace lover i really love slow pace book i don't like that book jumps from this tab like this plot to this plot suddenly but <laughs> this was a really really slow paced book and also the thing is that i'm also a greek mythology lover when i first opted for this book to read and i didn't know that this book is going to be like a greek mythology retelling i just thought that of this book is got a pretty cover page this book had got so many praises so many awards so many prizes best book of 2018 i should read this book but i was wrong <laughs> after reading 100 pages i started to actually put this book down and started reading some other books cause frankly if 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 it wasn't for my 24 hour readathon i wouldn't have completed this book i wouldn't have read right the rest like 100 pages or remaining 150 pages and i i just i just didn't get the my will to read this book any further now the thing is that uh, the book 
this book has got like really really good writing style i really like the writing style the words were really like beautifully written marvelously exceptionally beautiful and everything was just beautiful in this book and uh, also the thing that the story of sis was like something that i admired her story her whole story was something that i admired because i really liked the fact that how she was a god among the gods but she was not treated like a god and even though she was treated horribly she didn't like uh, curse others she did curse but not at the start like after something happened after she was exiled to aiya but before that she was actually kind hearted even i think even the end of the book she was kind hearted but mm, as i said i don't know how to express my views for this book <sighs> how should i say this now i haven't read exactly any greek mythology i don't know any background of it i just adored them because of their paintings and the pictures that were on google and everything cause they look really really beautiful but after reading this book i get to know that how messed up it is yes it's pretty messed up so after reading this book i get to know that so now i'm like okay pretty faces but nothing like that um when i was reading this book i literally felt like i was reading a history book it, again i am a history book lover i really adored my subject when i was in school and still now but i was reading this book as a fiction book and it turned out to be like a history book it was it, it didn't even felt like it was a retelling so yeah that also is a minus point cause i had high expectations for this book I, frankly i had many expectations for this book but yeah i still gave it a four star cause as i said i don't know how to rate this book or how to feel about this book but yeah so that's our all my all messed up thoughts about this book that's why i said i don't know how if i should make this video or even not so mm, now the hard part if i should recommend this book or not um i would recommend this book if you are a really really slow paced lover and also if you like reading something from greek mythology of course you have to have a greek mythology fan or if you know a little of greek mythology or even if you are a mythology fan basically a mythology fan and uh, yeah if you have to have a mythological you have to have something mythological in you to read this book and also if you are a fan of like really really clean pleasant writing style then i would definitely recommend this because what again the thing i forgot to mention is that i really like the dialogue writing in this book cause in this book the dialogues are not separated from like if there is a sentence someone is speaking something but it was not uh, uh, written in the inverted commas or anything like that some dialogues are written like that but some are not so it was actually hard at first at when i was reading like this when i started reading uh i was confused if it was a dialogue or not but as i goes as i goes on as i read more i actually like that thing i actually like that it was like a narrating like sirs was narrating her whole story to us that's what i felt here so yeah, i would totally recommend you also if you like that and i won't recommend you this book if you are not a fan of really 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 slow pace and if you don't have any patience to know what is going on even after you have read like more than half of the book then this book is definitely not for you don't pick up this book so that was all that was my review for series by madeline miller i hope i did justice with this review i don't know exactly uh, i hope you liked this book review and If you have read this book, what are your thoughts about this book? If you do have mixed feeling for this book as I have, make sure to comment in the comment section. So good bye till the next video.